Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a remarkable event that has reshaped the landscape of the Russia-Ukraine war. An entire Russian infantry column was recently obliterated in a drone attack, showcasing the formidable power of unmanned aerial vehicles on the battlefield. This incident marks a pivotal moment in military history, sparking intense debate about the future of warfare and the role of advanced drone technology in shaping conflicts. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates. Without further ado, Let's get started. The video shared earlier this month shows members of Ukraine's 30th Mechanized Brigade lying in wait near the village of Sinkivka, about five miles northwest of the strategically important city of Kupyansk in Ukraine's Kharkiv region. When two Russian main battle tanks and two armored personnel carriers drove into their trap, the Ukrainians struck with precision. As the lead Russian tank made its way past a thicket of trees, it was struck by a Ukrainian anti-tank missile, exploding into a fireball and sending thick, black smoke into the air. The remaining Russian vehicles tried to retreat, but the Ukrainians cut off their escape by blasting the rear armored personnel carrier with an armed drone. Russian troops emerged from the disabled vehicle and fled toward the tree line. The two remaining vehicles, caught in the open, drove over landmines and burst into flames as they tried to escape. The Ukrainians then deployed cluster munitions against the decimated column, causing Moscow soldiers to flee for their lives. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry gloated in a social media post, describing it as a typical day for the Russian occupiers in Ukraine. The ambush took place near the settlement of Sinkivka, which Russia had been trying to capture between December 14th and December 28th. However, each Russian attempt was systematically wiped out by Kyiv's forces. Russia has been making incremental advances in some sections of the front line, but has failed to punch through Ukraine's defenses. Moscow's goal is to inch closer to the city of Kupyansk and solidify its gains in the Luhansk region. But so far, Ukraine has held its ground. As the conflict continues, questions remain about Ukraine's ability to fend off Russia if U.S. Republicans in Congress continue blocking a new military and financial aid package proposed by Democrats. According to military analysts, the use of drones and other advanced weaponry by Ukrainian forces showcases their growing capabilities and determination to defend their country against Russian aggression. The successful ambush near Sankivka demonstrates the effectiveness of Ukraine's defensive tactics and the high cost of Russian aggression. In addition to the recent ambush footage, we have new insights into the strategic use of drones in the region. Ukraine has deployed a wide array of drones, ranging from palm-sized models to those weighing over 1,000 pounds. Initially, larger drones like the Turkish TB2 Bayraktar played a pivotal role, exploiting their ability to carry multiple munitions and loiter for extended periods. However, as Russia tightened its control of the airspace, larger drones became more vulnerable, leading Ukraine to shift towards smaller, more abundant drones. The effectiveness of drones in this conflict cannot be overstated. They have allowed Ukraine to partially neutralize Russia's military advantage, 
offering a cost-effective means to conduct surveillance and execute strikes. The adaptability of drone technology has also enabled rapid innovation, with both sides developing new tactics to counter each other's advances. For instance, the use of small commercial drones, often operated by civilian volunteers, has significantly increased the situational awareness of Ukrainian forces. On the other hand, Russia has utilized its observation drones, like the Orland 10, to direct artillery fire at Ukrainian targets. Despite this, Russia lacks an effective long-range strike drone comparable to Ukraine's Bayraktar, which is a notable shortcoming for a major military power. The use of drones by Ukrainian forces has inflicted considerable losses on Russian military assets. While comprehensive data on losses specifically caused by drones is not publicly available, reports suggest that Ukrainian drones have been effective in targeting Russian equipment and personnel. For instance, as of November 2023, Ukraine's tally indicated that Russia had lost 5,901 unmanned aerial vehicles. Additionally, on February 14, 2024, it was reported that Russia's losses in a single day included 39 drones. These figures underscore the impact of Ukrainian drone operations on Russian military capabilities. Furthermore, Ukraine's use of drones has forced Russia to invest heavily in electronic warfare systems to counter the threat. This has led to a significant attrition rate of Ukrainian drones, with estimates suggesting that Ukraine is losing roughly 10,000 drones every month to Russian jamming efforts. This attrition highlights the intense electronic warfare battle being waged and the effectiveness of Ukrainian drones in compelling Russia to deploy such measures. While Russia continues to exert military pressure, Ukraine's adept use of drones has proven to be a formidable defense, highlighting the importance of technological innovation in modern warfare. That's all for our special report on drone warfare in Ukraine. Stay tuned for more updates on the situation in Ukraine.